Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to the 10 to 80% state to charge speed test, where we put the manufacturer's claimed charging speed to the test in the real world. And Peugeot claimed that this E2008 has a maximum, a peak charging speed of 100 kilowatts. But the real story is what does the charge curve look like? Because we all know we will probably get, you know, a high speed at a low state to charge. But once we, you know, get into the state to charge into the 30s, 40s, 50s, and then to 80% state to charge, the, the charging speed will just dip off. And that is what we are really interested in today is to, to see what is the average charging speed from 10 to 80. But maybe more important for a lot of you people, how long does it take to get from 10 to 80% state to charge in this E2008? So in my opinion, that is the most important metric for charging an EV at a fast charger because you're basically only using these uh, you know, fast chargers when you are going on a long trip and then you get to a charger with around 10% and then you want to go to about 80% state to charge because a lot of EVs like this E2008 charges super slow above 80% state to charge. It just doesn't you know, make any sense to go above that percentage. And sometimes it isn't good for a battery either. So some cars you know, only recommend you charging up to 80 and some 90 and very few cars you know, recommend you charging up to 100%. But it is currently minus six degrees Celsius outside. So we have to get some heat into the battery. The car has been parked overnight. So we're going to go and yo-yo it. And yeah, I'll take you on the road and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by yo-yoing in. I talked about the term yo-yoing it and yo-yoing refers to generating heat into the battery as quickly as possible. And the way you do that is you accelerate, you brake, you accelerate, you know, and that's where the yo-yoing comes from, you know, up and down, up and down, uh, the, the motion of a yo-yo. So braking, accelerating, braking. And what that does is that it loads the battery. It creates a lot of internal resistance. And once you're, you know, asking that uh, power from the battery, it will heat the battery because of the internal resistance in a battery. And you want to have as much heat as possible to get, you know, that maximum charging speed. Speed. And I know a lot of you people will say, but most people don't yo-yo it. You can't just yo-yo it to get, you know, uh, that temperature out of the battery before connecting it to a charger. And I do agree with that statement. But the whole point of this test is to test the charging speed. So we want to have the best conditions as possible. And since it is minus six degrees outside, we have to do something artificial to generate that heat. But a lot of people do yo-yoing it, you know, you know to, to know this hack, is also very useful for a lot of people because you can you know, use some percentage to yo-yoing it to accelerate, but you will get that back at the charging station because you will get you know, much better charging speed. But as you can see here, guys, we are at around 50% state to charge, so we have to drive some so we can deplete the battery down to 10% state to charge so we can do this test. And another way to you know, generate heat is just to go at a higher speed. So if you're going on a motorway, like in a 110, 20, 30 zone or above, uh, going at that constant speed will load the battery and your battery will actually be at a quite nice temperature. So then connecting to a charger, you will have you know, a bigger fighting chance of getting that higher speed. So I'm going to drive for a while, maybe half an hour or an hour, do some acceleration runs, you know, try to get that heat into the battery and then we will connect to a charger. Okay, so we are now down to a low state to charge. You can see, but this car doesn't have a state to charge readout, so we really don't know the actual state to charge, but it looks like we're down to just above 10%. But what is interesting here is, yeah, now we're behind this truck, but if I move into the left lane here, um, uh, this car won't let me, uh, I, yeah, look at that. That's our maximum speed. The f pedal is to the metal. I'm not going any faster. Yeah, I'm not even able to pass this truck. <laughs> so that is something to know when you are at a super low state to charge in. Yeah, so ooh, cruise control is deactivated. Oh, we were not allowed to go quicker than 80. Oh, shit. So this is really weird because we were just having power limited quite heavily. You saw 
right after I turned off the camera, I couldn't go faster than 60 kilometers an hour, but now I can go, yeah, I'm putting the pedal to the metal, no problem at all. We can go 100 maybe. That's really weird. And also the uh, GOM here has been showing two kilometers of range for the past like 12, 14 kilometers. So yeah, uh, we are 2.7 kilometers away from the charging station where I'm going to charge because I want to, you know, film the charging session for you guys also to make a charging curve. So we had to go up to a specific charger, but we're empty for washer fluid. Um, <laughs> yeah. So a bit dramatic, but yeah, now we're able to go quicker than 100. That's so strange. This is really, really weird. Why did we have, do you know, that power limit? I thought it was because we had a low state to charge, but you know, the car wasn't showing any turtle mode or anything. So yeah. Okay, so we are done with the test and just an update guys, we came to this charger with 6% state to charge. So even though the car was showing us two kilometers of range for the past like yeah, 10 to 14 kilometers, we actually had 6% state to charge. So we had plenty and I have calculated that in other driving. That would give us maybe like 10 kilometers of range, 10, 12 kilometers of range with that percent of state of charge. But yeah, the reason you guys clicked on this video is to see the charging curve, the charge speed, and all those goodies. So I'm gonna overlay the video here while I'm talking and going through the results. I've done some calculations, and you guys in my last data charge test video gave me some good tips to how to calculate the speed to make it as accurate as possible. So if you like this, if I did it like you wanted me to do that, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have an even better way of doing it, let me know because yeah, this took me some time to you know write down. So I have my trusted notepad okay so starting off with uh, from 10 percent state to charge we had 69 kilowatts right off the bat climbing to about 72 kilowatts and we kept that speed up to about 18 percent state to charge and then something happened the speed shot up to 85 kilowatts that's not too far off the 100 kilowatt maximum speed so i'm quite impressed by that but we had that for a short period of time. We had that to about 23% state to charge and then the speed dropped down to about 70, 68, I'm sorry, 68 kilowatts. And then we had that speed to around 38% state to charge. And then something weird happened again and then the speed shot up. I don't know what it is. Maybe we're getting heat into the battery while charging, but the speed shot up to 75 kilowatts and then we had that to 50% state of charge. And then once we hit uh, seven, and then we at hit 50% state to charge, the speed dropped to 50 kilowatts. And then we had that speed up or around start at 49, and then you know flat, flattened out at 50 kilowatts. And then we had that speed up to 72% state to charge. And then we got yeah probably the biggest drop in speed. We, it, the speed dropped to 25 kilowatts. So it seems if you want to do fast charging with this car. Going up to 72% state to charge is your, your, you know, your real uh, sweet spot if you don't want to have slower charging because above that until 80% state to charge, we charged at 25 kilowatts. So yeah, so that's your charging speed. I'm gonna overlay the curve here so you guys can see the curve. So it starts at 69, climbs to 72, and then we have a climb again to 85. And then it dips down to 68. And then once we get to 38% state to charge, it climbs up to 75 kilowatts again. And then once we get to 50% state to charge, it dips down to 50. And then at 72% state to charge, it dips down to 25 kilowatts. And that's the speed we get to 80% state to charge. So our total amount delivered in kilowatt hours was 31.993 kilowatt hours. And the time to reach that was 34 minutes and 51 seconds. Or if you calculate that all into metrics, you have 34.85 seconds. So 34.85 seconds is 0.5808 hours. So if we take that uh, kilowatt hours, 31.993, divide that by the time, which is 0.5808 hours, we get a speed of 55.1 
kilowatts and I hope this is correct guys I, I did triple check this so this should be correct but if you have a better way of doing this uh, then let me know please in the comments down below but this was the way I was able to do it so our average speed was 55.1 kilowatts which considering this having you know a maximum speed of 100 and you know what I've experienced with this car before it's not too bad actually Consider that XC40 under similar conditions. We tried to yo-yo it, yo -yo it, we drove it a few hours before connecting it to a charger. We got an average speed of about 76 kilowatts with that car. And Volvo's claiming a maximum charging speed of 150 kilowatts. So this getting a average charging speed, just 20 kilowatts shy of that XC40. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed with this car. So we're gonna do this test again in the summer uh, or in the spring when it's not minus yeah, six degrees outside. We might even get better results, but for what it is, not bad at all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.